Okay, this is part two of our guide for chapter three from SwearingVideoGames.com. I am Swaggers. Uh, we've already finished the first half of chapter three, and now we're coming into the second half here. Uh, what we have left to do is just pick up uh, two intel pieces, and then they're going to introduce us to a new enemy type in this part. Um, pretty much this entire last half of this level is just kind of uh, set up. You know, for enemies and stuff to come. Um, not too many big battles. Go ahead and go in this office. Um, grab whatever you need. And behind the back here, that's the third intel piece overall. First of this part of the chapter. Um, get that and go ahead and move on. A couple of guys just trying to get a soda. Nothing to see there. Moving on. Oh, he got grabbed from someone. Oh, there's someone even badder than you. Ooh, that looks like it hurts. He is not looking like he's in very good shape. Get that ammo down there and then uh, go ahead and head to the store. He's That guy's already injured. A little small battle here. Finish these guys off. There's gonna be, you know, a couple guys in here. Still, you know, even on hard, you know, not much of a challenge yet. Not anyone, you know, just some kind of basics. Enemies coming at you. It didn't look like it was going to provide much cover anyway, those shells. And probably wasn't really the uh, tactically sound choice on his part. Cut through this bathroom here. Okay, go through this uh, bloody closet, and then uh, in this, um, can't actually shoot them. There's there's the guy that you're going to be fighting a little bit later, a couple of those guys running along the window there. And uh, while you're looking at that, don't miss that intel piece there. I almost missed. You can tell. Yep, I saw it. Boom, and that's the uh, last one. For chapter three, awakening. So now all we gotta do is uh, get through the chapter. A lot of blood. Someone definitely is not feeling good right now. Yeah, these guys have uh, something bigger than you'd worried about, so they're they're pretty easy kills. Oh, a little sneaky guy in the side room. Take him down. Oh, yeah. Once again, something else took him out before you could. He does not look like he is in a... He's not feeling very good there. Nothing back here. Going through the double doors. And uh, let's take this elevator. Get a little more of the story as we're riding this elevator down. Now you're going to want to head into this uh, side room here, get that health pack just in case you need it. 
grab all of this stuff. And then once you come up to this window, you're going to get a little scene. I skipped it, and the new guy is going to pull you through here. A couple of these guys, the real secret to this is just make sure you use your slow-mo, because um, they'll get up on you fast, and just get your uh, back up to a corner so you can see them coming. Not too hard to take out, but uh, if you get blindsided by them, they, they can do quite a bit of damage to you very quickly. A couple more, just slowly. Just slowly crawling in on you. Oh, that guy snuck up. Little bastard. I think we got them all. Fantastic. Come up here. Grab the stuff here if you need it. And then, uh, oh, one more. He's dead. And then you just got to kick this gurney a couple times. Do a couple uh, slide moves until it finally gets all the way pushed through and you can come to the door. He does not look like he is having a very good day there. That, that doesn't look good. I like, though, that, uh, you know, we're not going to pull him out. You know, he's still talking to us. He's still alive, but uh, we'll just move on. I think he can handle that situation. He's a big guy. He can handle that situation on his own. So all you got to do here, just continue through. Um, next level will come up, and uh, we will see you in the Chapter 4 walkthrough. Coming soon.